What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Retro Fletcher and we are here to conquer the classics. We've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 level 4 which is called The Open Road. I don't know why because it's a parking lot but that's cool. So if you haven't joined the Retro Squad make sure to smash that subscribe button. You don't want to miss out. We've got level 5 coming up next and then we've got um, we'll, we'll We'll be playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3 after that, and then even uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters. I never played that one, so we're going to try that one too. So make sure to join so you don't miss out. And we're starting level 4, the open road, right now. So, punk, we've got the open road, which is a cool name because it sounds like you're going on the open road to go to Cowboyville. <laughs> I don't know. I, it's the open parking lot is really what it should be called. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Remember these blow up if you hit them. <laughs> I didn't even use it. I should have. Oh, I got that one. That one foot soldier over there. He actually ran into it. Sorry, dude. Didn't mean to blow you up. <laughs> it was for the white ones. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Kinda. I love how they make all these cars in the parking lot. They all look the same, except for like a couple different ones. But like same, same. Like, what's it called? Uh. What's the word I'm looking for? Like, they're the same outline, I guess? Because you got, like, those trailers and you got these, like, square-looking, um... What are those cars called? I just drew a blank. But, um... It's those ones. The It's like it's like the cars that older people drive sometimes. I want to say Cadillac, but I know it's not that. God, that's going to bug me, but... They all look like that, and it's funny because they make it so blatantly obvious which one is the one, which one is the car that will drive out, because they make them all black and white. And then this one, oh, okay, okay, so they made two of them blue, <laughs> but um, it, it, I feel like they make it really obvious which one's going to drive out, because I was thinking they're all black and white except the one that drives out, but... That's not true, because there's two blue there. Actually, unless this one drives out too, which it might. No, it didn't. I lied. 20 miles an hour in the parking lot. It's pretty fast. I guess it's not that fast. <laughs> I need to get... I need to get 400 before I run out of this life, because... See, like this one, this one's gonna move, because it's the one right before. Yeah, you punks. Quit hitting me with your gun, that's weird. But see, they, they made it so blatantly obvious by the way that that one was set up compared to the last one that drove out. Oh my gosh, these guys are so stupid. They got these weird bagpipe looking guns, and then they freaking whack you with it. Who the hell hits someone with a gun like that when you can just shoot them? Ooh, those guys are gonna... Oh, I only got one. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna make it. 323 right now. Oh, I could have got the triple hit. I missed. Oh, they got ninja stars? Do all the standard foot soldiers have ninja stars, or is that just... Are those like a special kind? Because, ooh, we got pizza at least. Okay, maybe I can do it now. We got Baxter and poor April, who's, I'm not sure what he was doing to her in there, but we're going to make sure he doesn't do it again. Jeez, come on, dude. I love how it's so, the irony of him using a fly swatter. The one thing that would kill him, he uses as his weapon. That's that's wearing your your, your 
your faults and your weaknesses on the outside. The irony is real. <laughs> dude, he's freaking good aim. The other guy, the wolf dude in the snowy level, was he did not have very good aim. But this dude is messing me up with his little stars? Shooting stars? I don't know what those are he's shooting. Um, I don't know if on the third level, or in the sewers, if that was Baxter. I swear it is, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Uh -huh. Oh, she wasn't... She was faking? <laughs> she was just sitting there acting like she was tied up, and then she just stands up. She didn't even... It didn't confirm that she was, she was tied up. She just stood up like that. I owe you one. Ew. <laughs> Scene four, let's get to that secret factory. Oh, oh, okay. This is the open road. I see. I forgot about this part. So that... That makes sense, Turtles. And programmers of Ninja Turtles, too. <laughs> I was making fun of it, but it really is the open road now. And I think there really are... From what I remember, there are cars that drive by and freaking smash you. Oh, we got some, like, savage-looking... Spearhead. Spearing foot soldiers. What? Dude, these weapons are awesome. They're so random. And some of them are, like, so barbaric. Like, what's up with the ones that add sledgehammers? Who the hell uses a sledgehammer? <laughs> so ineffective and heavy. Yeah, and I love how they never run out of these, even though it looks like they're carrying just one. They're just endless amounts. I don't like those ones. And they didn't give those ones, like, oh, there's the car. There's some foot soldiers cruising around. Oh, speaking of the sledgehammer ones. See, these ones are a little different. They're like a like a maroon pinkish color. But those purple ones with the spears, those look exactly like those... Ooh, messed you up, boy. Those looked exactly like the normal, like the standard ones. Ooh, I messed him up. He got caught up there. Boy, you stay right there, boy. <laughs> I like how you can just like smack them until they're dead and they get stuck like that. I wish I could do that with some of these guys because they're super obnoxious. And same thing with these ones. Like, these are just the standard colored ones too, but they have freaking dynamites that are purple. Why don't they? I, I don't get why they don't give them different colors, like all of them. There's a lot of purple ones. Or spear ones. These ones have got to be the most obnoxious. They're they're pretty annoying, and they they've got some range when they're trying to hit you. Compared to the others, I guess. It's annoying because they have range and they can throw it, so it's like double bad. Oh, cute! The foot soldier colors match the car, except the one driving. Oh, what the hell? Like honestly. <laughs> Hey, um, Shredder, we're trying to figure out what we should give the the pink foot soldiers. What what do you think? And he's like, I don't know, make a... Uh, dude, just use your imagination. One foot soldier's like, I know, we'll carry nukes around and just throw them at the turtles. That's an effective weapon. I guess, oh wow. Technically not nukes, but uh, those were... They look like nukes. Maybe they are. I don't know. <laughs> they definitely didn't have the effect of a nuke. Dude, and what's up with them, like, hugging? Like, why do they grab so much? That's, I don't feel like that's very effective against an enemy. Oh nope. Here, I'm gonna cheat and make sure I get an extra life here, because I was so close. And these guys cheat anyways. Throwers! Come on! Yeah! Really? <laughs> um, I don't know if this is gonna... I guess it doesn't give me extra life, does it? Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> I just gotta 
refill life, basically. Would you quit shanking me? Holy crap! Stop. Jeez. Oh, we got some that are actually went to the extent of using monster truck tires as weapons. They are getting so creative. Ow, ow, ow. Stop. Oh, he, he forgot. <laughs> He didn't he didn't get the the cue to jump out with the other two, I guess. He's like, do we go now guys? And they're like, dude, we already went, we've already blown up. Oh wow, that's it? I just jumped out of the frame. Oh Yeah, I forgot about this. The intense skateboard freeway scene. This is a pretty cool level actually. Why did I do that? That was a very ineffective jump kick. I love how they just have these, like, mini helicopters. And then you got the stupid gun guys trying to beat me while they're on skateboards. And did they just, like, copy our technology? Like, how did they get... Dude. I don't get how they just all have skateboards like like ours. <laughs> I love how they fall perfectly onto their skateboards when you kill them. Turtle Van. Alright. <gasps> what? <laughs> he just hops in and immediately crashes. Like, what's up with that? <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Again, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure to join the Retro Squad. We've got a lot of good stuff coming up ahead. Um, we've got level 5, the factory. That is up next. And then... Um... I think it's the Shogun Dojo after that too, so you don't want to miss out. Especially if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video.